Alright you guys, hey I know it's been a while, mm -hmm. a good bit. So today, you know how I normally do the arts and the paintings and everything? We are going to change that today. Today I'm going to show you how to use coke bottles, water bottles, and turn them into plants, or plant, plant containers if you don't have, want to go out and buy pots, or potted plant containers. So, um, I went and got a big bag of soil. I got seeds, you can use any kind of seeds. Um, like, I just planted marigolds in this little thing right here. Um, the next one is we're going to be doing watermelon. Some of the seeds I tried um, putting them in water bottles and seeing if they grow. The only ones I could see and could tell that were growing and the water submerged in water completely were these tomatoes. Let me pull the top part off real quick. Hey, let me pick this up so you can see it better so I'm not tilting it. But if you can tell, there's three little seedlings. That's because I had them in um, a small, smaller one first. And then as soon as I seen them growing, I moved them to a bigger pot so that way they would grow more. Um, but if you could tell, see how partially easy that kind of was pulling that off. Let me put this down first before I continue to try to put that back on. It's very easy. It's a good project for you kids to do. There we go. See? It even says, it even says greenhouse. So... That's that one. Um, these ones are green beans, says right on the bottle. I just planted these ones. Should start growing, hopefully. I have a whole little greenhouse going on for this one. I've got three containers of dirt ready to go. Um, I just planted marigolds, like I said. The next one is going to be watermelon seeds. We're going to see if we can get that one to go to grow. So. Um, I'm going to need to cut a bottle like this. First, I got to pour the water and the seed into this first so that way I can get this cut and ready to go. Do that quick. Do, 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 do. Real easy transfer. So, this is going to be kind of loud. If people don't like loud noises, you can do this in another room because I know some people don't. Give it a little squeeze, flatten it put the lid on it and then you see how it has that flat part right here you can cut any part of that and that should be good here. and then with adult supervisions you use the scissors give a good old we'll put it down here good, good old cut open that out use the fingers and voila, you got a little bowl. Now, off the camera, I'm going to use a knife to put a hole in the bottom. But first, I want to put the seed and soil in it so that way I can put the water in it to get the soil nice and um, wet. Because if you don't do that and you put the seed in and then you water it, it dislodges the seed and then it will never grow. But if you put the soil in and then get the soil wet, um, the soil is all ready for the seed and then the seed can start growing. So, like I was, remember how I said I have little things of um, Coke bottle soil left? Or the Coke bottle filled with soil? You're going to take that. You're going to grab a little handful. Throw some in. Fill it as high as you want. Go right about there. <laughs> that nice and padded. Okay, so this is where I filled it up to. Okay, I'm going to use the water from here and I'm going to get it nice and wet. Not too wet though. Okay, it's nice and good. Get the little pad down. Then you're going to take your finger I use my pinky and you're going to push right down. See this goes all the way down to the bottom which I don't want. So that means I got to add more soil first. 
the soil's already wet because I did this beforehand um, for someone else to show. And okay, so you give that a good little more soil right about there. And you can do this on an old table. I'm usually, I'm using the table that you guys have seen in a lot of my videos, my painting table. So that way I'm not getting any um, other things dirty. I got a little dirt there. Wasn't supposed to. So that way you don't have to worry about getting your table dirty. You have something else you can use. Okay, so you repat this down. Take a finger. Give a little, little, little hole. Good bit. Okay. So now we need the watermelon seed, and I do not have any of them that do not have holes yet. This is one. I can't remember. Oh, this one's the marigold ones. Okay, so the watermelon seed fell out. I gotta grab that real quick. So I don't know if you can see it. If you see it, that's what the watermelon seed looks like. So put that in the hole. Give a nice little pat over. So that way the sun can reach it. All right. Um, grab my knife. Oops, sorry, you weren't supposed to see that. Mm. Oof, I gotta do that off camera real quick. Go. It's important you have to let the bottles have holes. I'll show you right where to poke them here in a second. I didn't do that with my marigold ones. Okay, there. I'll set that on the table. I gotta do it with this one too before I forget. So if you poke holes in the bottom right where like these parts are on the water bottles for your beginning ones, um, that will help the water leak out. So that way it's not drowning the sea and not um, going to well like I said drown it. Um, if you when you have the holes, it helps it grow because then it's gonna soak up, won't be sucking up too much at the same time. And then with the bigger ones, let me grab this one. It doesn't have anything in it. Um, if you look, it's got the little holes like around these tip parts here because that makes it a lot easier. Because if you go with the um, the towards the middle, it'll take maybe like a minute or a couple minutes or more for you to poke a hole through that. Um, that won't be any good. That will take you some time, and. Um, I'm showing you these. It's a fun activity. It's something to do. It's um, a learning experience. Um, I didn't expect the tomato seeds to grow, so this is opening a whole new things. Um, and it's a good lesson on recycling and reusing. Uh, let's see. So I gotta find a lid for this. Oh, I have to trim this part. So see, that won't fit. So if we take. This part, let's cut this off real quick. Like I said, you need parents' supervision for the, the scissors and the knife and everything. Okay, let's go right about here. I want to try to get the size as even as possible. If not, that's fine. Uh, so that way you can get them tucked fit. If you gotta wrestle with it, that's also fine. Um, 
And if you have tape, you can tape over the part that's gaping like there's a little hole, but not like whole hole. Uh, the bottles. Sorry, I didn't sleep. I was experiment or um, I was testing things on this project. Um, like I said, you can take tape, and you can tape the part that's indented right here. So that way the moisture and stuff gets locked in, and then you'll start seeing condensation. Like if I grab this one here, you can obviously tell it's condensation because it's just sitting in the sun and the soil has the soil's wet and everything. And then um, the tomato plants will be growing and everything, and so will the marigolds, the green beans, the watermelon I just planted. Um, I gotta get a little lid for that. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Um, like I said, you can use this with any other plants. Um, you could try it with fruits, uh, for fruits that are coming out of, uh, like pears, apples, uh, tomatoes you can get out of the store. Um, for seeds like that, you want to make sure you let them dry out first and then go ahead and put them in the water. Uh, because I believe it takes some time for it to do that. Oh, I just remember, I do have an apple seed. I do have apple seeds. Let me go grab one, and then um, if I remember, I'll do a daily progress report on the apple seed, on it growing, if it grows in the roots. Give me a quick second. Sorry about that, I can't find the apple seed. So, we will make this another adventure whenever I find the apple seed. But like I said, you can take um, the full liter, two liter, liter, whatever size bottle you find. You can cut it as long as you have adult supervision. Uh, you don't want to hurt yourself. Uh, you can uh, make the liter into your homemade um, plant pot. And you can watch your seeds grow. Like I said, you can grow any seeds. You can go outside and find the wildflowers and grow them inside. Um, just make sure you remember to water them. They uh, don't plant up too deep. Probably to right about here is how far you want the soil to go down, the hole to be. So that way the flower or whatever can grow. Uh, poke holes at the bottom of your containers. Make sure the water drains. And make sure you put a lid over the top so that way the condensation can begin. And I hope you enjoy this whole helpful little tip and home project. This is Jay Dawn signing off. I'll see you next time.